Here's another variation of the bear. We're going to start the exact same way as we always do. We're going to have the hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, hip width apart. From here, push that butt up in the air, find your A-frame. We're going to take a step forward. Now, normally in the bear, we have a small step. What we're gonna do is step a little further forward, and then we're going to start to rotate. So we're going to rotate that front foot so it forms a 90 degree angle. So one more time, I'm here. I'm going to rotate so I create a 90 degree angle with that foot. Lift the heel so you can rotate. I'm going to flex that back foot and I'm going to come down. Now, if this is where you get, fantastic. The important thing is that your shoulder is stacked directly over that hand. So we don't wanna be out here. If you're flexible and can go out here, cool but it's not a stable support system. So we wanna make sure that that shoulder is directly over the wrist. Flex that foot, lift the chest up, and make sure that that hip doesn't come all the way down to the ground. Hip's going to be lifted off the ground. I'm gonna reverse everything by reaching that arm forward and unscrewing. Now I've placed that other arm forward, I'm going to rotate to that 90 degree position, come up, Lift that chest tall, arms stay stacked, push back up. And we'll go for one more. Again, place that hand, place it on the ground, come down. Important thing here is we're not allowing that shoulder to rotate. We want to roll that shoulder back and down, lift that chest up nice and tall, flex that bottom foot. Come up. If I want to come out of it, I'm going to lower the knees down. And that is the bear twist.